In this video, you will learn about filling in PDF forms online using a free Google Chrome extension. Now and then we all have to type on a PDF file. For example, when filling a PDF form, this can be done by using any PDF annotation tool, but these tools are normally very expensive. By using this free Google Chrome extension, you can type on PDF files, you can fill in PDF forms, you can write something by using a pencil, you can also draw, you can also draw shapes and you can put a comment in a PDF file. There are also some paid features in this Chrome extension, but most of the everyday features are free. This Chrome extension is very useful for teachers. So let's have a look after a short break. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Tahir and I make videos about educational technology tools available to teachers and students. If you are interested in this topic, please hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell to get notified whenever I post a new video on this channel. Now on my desktop, I have this PDF file. As you can see that this is a simple PDF form and I want to fill my name and other details. So let us close this and first I have to install a Chrome extension. So I open my Google Chrome browser and I type Chrome Web Store and then I click on that and in the search bar I type Kemi. Press enter and this is the extension which I want to add. So I click on that and then I click add to Chrome. Kemi for Google Chrome. So I click on add to Chrome and then add extension and now the extension has been added but I have to sign in so I close this and now I click on this extension sign and I click on this purple colored icon this is the Kemi icon it will appear on the top right corner and now if I click on that this user interface of Kemi Chrome extension will appear and on the left hand side I can open file from my Google Drive from my computer or from OneDrive which is a free cloud storage from Microsoft. So I want to open the file from my computer so I click on that then I click on desktop and I click on my form. A snapshot will appear on the right hand side and then I click open and now my form will open here. There are many options and many annotation tools available on the left hand side. First of all, I want to use the text box. So I click on text box and I can select the text color. I want to use the black and then I click on this PDF form where I want to type something. I click here and a text box will appear. Now I can type my name and now if I click outside, the text box will disappear. And if I hover over this text box, I have few options. I can move this to my bank. I can rotate it. I can reposition this. So let's put X here. Click outside. Now if I want to reposition, I hover near the top line of the text box. Then I click and I can reposition this just like that. And then I click outside just like that. There are some other tools. For example, drawing tool. I can select the color of my pencil, let's say green and then I can start drawing anything. You can also write by using your handwriting but writing with mouse is not easy. I have a separate video where I explained how you can use any pen and a low cost tablet to write on online whiteboards. You can watch that video. Then we have eraser tool which you can use to erase the drawing. We can also draw shapes. If I click on shapes, there are few shapes available and then I can draw a shape. We can also put comments. So if I click on comment and I want to put my comment here, a dot will appear and on the right hand side, I can type any comment. For example, any instructions for my team members. And now when I am finished annotating this PDF form, I can click on this download so I click on download and I have few options. I can download to my computer, to Google Drive or to OneDrive. I can download the original PDF form or I can download with annotations. So I have selected with annotations. If you want to flatten the PDF and I have a separate video why you should flatten a PDF. You can watch that video. You can check this checkbox and then I click on begin export 
Again, I get this dialog box where I can change the name of the file. For example, I type field form. I can also change the save location, but I am happy with this download folder. So I click save. And now on the lower left corner, I can see that my form has been downloaded. So I can close this. And now I look into my download folder and this form has been downloaded. And now this is my form. As you can see that if I click on that, I can see my comment and my annotations are also intact. So this is how you can fill in a PDF form using Kami Chrome extension. That is it for today. I have another video about Kami Chrome extension and I will put a link at the end of this video. You can watch. I hope you like this video. If so, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and see you next time.